Turn on the oil pump. The recommended minimum time is 30 minutes. Install the linear suspension lockout bolts. Lock out the linear suspension. Carefully position the driver bar onto the armature insert face. After aligning holes, temporarily secure the driver bar using two bolts, each located at extreme outer ends of the driver bar. Remove the trending upright lockout bolts. Pull the slip plate away from the shaker to create a safe clearance. Rotate the shaker to horizontal position using the hand crank wheel. Slide the slip plate into the driver bar. Verify the slip plate mates accurately into the driver bar lip. Bolt the slip plate to the driver bar. Torque the slip plate to driver bar bolts. Remove the two temporary bolts from the driver bar. Now the driver bar is secured to the slip plate. Next, verify the squareness between the adjacent surfaces of the driver bar face and armature insert face using a feeler gauge. For fine adjustment of the shaker position, you may need to move the hand crank wheel to align the armature face to the driver bar surface, achieving a true 90 degree shaker position. Replace the trending upright bolts. Torque the trending upright bolts. Install accessible bolts through the driver bar into the shaker armature. Torque the bolts. Remove the slip plate to the driver bar bolts. Slide the slip plate away from the driver bar. The driver bar is now partially secured to the shaker's armature insert face. Remove the trending upright lockout bolts. Rotate the shaker to vertical position using the hand crank wheel. Now that they are accessible, the remaining bolts can be installed through the driver bar into the shaker armature. Torque the bolts.
verify that the slip table has been pulled away from the shaker to create a safe clearance. Rotate the shaker to the horizontal position using the hand crank wheel. Slide the slip plate into the driver bar. Verify the slip plate mates accurately into the driver bar lip. Replace the trending upright bolts. Torque the trending upright bolts. Once again, verify the slip plate mates accurately into the driver bar lip. Reinstall the slip plate to the driver bar bolts. Torque the slip plate to driver bar bolts. Remove the lockout bolts and spacers. With the slip plate now completely attached, verify that it moves freely by pushing it inwards towards the shaker and quickly releasing your hands. The table and shaker should rebound back smoothly. On the linear controller, rotate the dial to the horizontal setting. Wait for the airbag pressure to equalize. Once equalized, the slip plate edge will be aligned with the back edge of the boat.